This is your hungry, tired, now pissed off widower. Could be president in 2024? Prince DJ. I am ticked. No. I'm beyond pissed off. Yesterday, I had to steal crackers because I couldn't get any help. I couldn't get any help at all. And, I mean, now, although I had a, a pleasant surprise when I found out that I got a check coming, or the check is possibly here because a couple of my roommates are getting checked, so I was like, what is going on? Why am I getting a check? I mean, I never could be happier of getting a check, but I didn't know this. I didn't know this. Uh, because when I filed my taxes, you know, even though I couldn't get a refund, I find out that I wasn't getting a refund. So I wondered what the what the hell this could be, but you know, I just read the thing is like uh single single five could get three hundred dollars and then head of household could get five hundred dollars, so even though I'm not a head of household because I'm at a pass bed, but still, I never could get excited about getting a three hundred dollars than I am right now because this is godsend. I, mean, I don't care what nobody said, even even when I think about the government, it's godsend. Because I've been struggling for three days, two or three days, whatever the hell I've been struggling. Okay. The only problem is I wonder why the okay if it is if it is like some sort of uh really tactfully thing that I've been uh seeing, then why the heck could, couldn't they just put it on the uh put it on people's direct deposits? Why did they think of this as a regular check? Now, mind you, I still don't have a Texas ID. Thank God my ID, my other ID don't expire, but it doesn't have to answer where I'm living at now. Because I'm about to move to Galveston. Again, I'm about to move to Galveston. How the hell am I going to cash my check? I don't want to do, do it through the app because it's, then it's going to take another, even though I still need the money, it's going to take two or three days. It's going to take another extra two or three days. Now, the blind pension that I have is 750 but that's going to be gone in a day. It's going to be gone in a day because I have to put it in for live. Uh, I think the website is going to take it out for the podcast. Then, a little bit of, uh, somehow I got to pay, and then I have to wind up paying like, uh, uh, all of a sudden that I had to pay some kind of, well, I thought I paid the weekly dues, but some extra fee must have came on it, and then now I got to pay that. And I'm not gonna be able to turn on the phone because I got gotta get I gotta get some food. I gotta get some food. I had to put the lift first. Then I had to pay my roommate. Well, I gotta pay Esther Lift Esther's with just in case something comes up and I have another way to get to the airport. But I wanna make sure I at least pay my roommate because he said he wants to help me get to the airport. But my idea is to save the lift for the airport, the hotel. Back and forth the podcast movement and back to the airport and then to Galveston. Oh, man, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's almost like I need $400 just to get by on Lyft. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to see what I could do. Maybe I might pay pass Lyft first and then my roommate first and then see where the cars may lie. That is my plan because my money comes in usually at like one or two o'clock in the morning. But but with this added check, I don't I don't know where the hell I'm gonna. Well, unless Walmart cash check, but I don't even know where the hell I'm gonna cash it. I don't have no bank here in Texas. Okay. And you know I don't want to wait long because I need this money. Okay, because I, I looked at informed deliver, informed delivery. I don't know why I get still getting a Hamana. I'm not, I'm not using Hamana. But I'm still getting it. And so, yeah. So I was looking at the informed delivery, and then there were people left and right in the house getting checks, same day. And then I saw my name. I was like, ah! I was like, why not get a check? 
Let me get a check. I've never been so happy for a possible $300 in my entire life. I've never been so happy about getting $300 in my entire I say it again. i never been so happy because my advertising sucks. I was getting nothing for help. I repeat, I was getting nothing for help. Even with my other business advertising, not just trying to ask for donation for help, even with my business advertising has been sucking bad, bad. And then today was the miracle of all miracles. The only problem that I have is where the hell I'm going to go to cash a check when I got a different state ID still. Well, even though when I get to the house at Gaveston, uh, they told me they didn't care about where my ID from as long as I have an ID. So maybe they might be the same in check cashing. I don't know. I don't know. So I got to figure out how the hell I'm going to cash this $300 check. Okay. I could get some food, okay. I could probably put some of the you to uh the lifting uh earlier, but the only danger is I got to get out in this heat. I got to sacrifice my life yet again, so that not, not only I could cast the check and I could get some food, but I got to sacrifice my life again because my roommate go to go to work during the week. So I don't know what I should just wait for tomorrow to do it. And take care of the den. I I don't know. I mean, I could because games is not playing because uh uh law president is at a yard sale, but yard sale, yard sale, garage sale, whatever you want to call it. But ah uh, God, help, 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 help! I'm gonna cast this check. I don't even know when it's coming by. I got to wait until night to get the check unless the roommate, because unless the roommate sees that they're going to have checks coming, they want to, we want to get the mail for the house. I mean, I just got the mail for the house like a day or two ago. Okay. So, wow. I mean, that was a godsend, but I've never been so excited to get $300. I mean, I know because I was looking at the uh, the Treasury website, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I never got a letter saying that it was coming. I never, I never got n- nothing. Just poof. I mean, <laughs> I just wish Steve Harvey and Publishers Clearinghouse would have gained today. <laughs> this was the God said I, I got sick yesterday. Felt like I was gonna get sick yesterday. I feel weak today. I I had to, again. I literally had to steal crackers. Yes, crackers. I had to steal crackers. And I'm tired of this triple digit heat. I got to get to Galveston because Galveston temperatures are at least lower. At least the worst would it get is the low ninety. That's the worst that would get. And then on top of that, I'll be I'll be right 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 next to another park, but uh down the street uh to the park will be the beach. The seawall. Yeah. And then near that, close to that, will be uh Pleasure Pier. So the problem is, I mean, this is ridiculous. The problem is, I mean, at least <sighs> I don't get. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Why in the world? I mean, why in the world do do people get tortured like this? Why do people get tortured like this? I mean, even my guy New Orleans had to declare an emergency because of the heat. They had six deaths because of the heat. They had six deaths. I guess we either would have span a few months or something like they had to declare an emergency. New Orleans had to declare a fucking emergency. The last time I ate was Monday. And I still remember the meal. Chicken. It was tasty chicken and 
those tasty collard greens. Those collard greens was good. I'm not even a vegetable pie person, though. Collard greens were good. I swear in my own grave. Those collard greens were delicious. Absolutely. And again, I'm not a vegetable person. Because, you know, it's the taste. It's the taste. Come on. Come on. It's the taste. Anyway. Oh, God, I swear, if I don't get no food in my system, I swear, if I was a car, your ass would be stranded in the middle of a road somewhere because I didn't get no gas. That's why your ass would be stranded in the middle of the road somewhere because I didn't get no gas. I was, like, crying because nobody helped me, and now I got to sit here. And a triple digit heat again. And then now I got to figure out how the hell I'm going to go to cash a check on a triple digit while my roommate is working. I got to figure out how the hell to cash a check. Because I don't want to cash it over the phone and then I'll have to be stuck waiting three days. Okay. I don't want to wait three days. I don't want to wait three days. I mean, at least what I could do is if I do that Walmart, I would have to. Uh, they do, um, they do Green Dot, okay, and so I have a bank that accepts Green Dot, so they, uh, they could, uh, you know, they could, uh, take the check, uh, yeah, they could, uh, I could put the money there, and then use it for food, and then use it for other things. I mean, come on, come on. I, this was this was like out of the blue miracle that I needed. This was the out of the blue miracle that I needed because I basically had to steal crackers just to survive, just to survive. Other than drinks, and I'm always drinking, but still, just to survive. And again, I gotta wait till later tonight to just to get the mail. So that means I won't be able to uh, to try to cash the check till tomorrow. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I ha- I always have to depend on people because of my disability. I have to depend on people because I can't try. I have to depend on people because I can't work. And, I mean, and only a few help. Only a few help. I mean, I, I have a birth defect. I was born partly blind. I was born like this. There's no way for me to heal from this. Again, I was born like this. I have a birth defect. 1973. I was born like this. Okay? I didn't, I mean, later on in life, I didn't have like this. I've been struggling. I've been struggling. And I'm still struggling. All right? <sighs> if I wasn't blind, I'd probably be in the military somewhere. If I wasn't blind. If I wasn't blind, I'd probably have probably two college degree. A bachelor and a doctor. Uh, no, not a doctor. A bachelor and a master's, at least. If I wasn't bl- partly blind. If I wasn't partly blind, I'd probably have a high paying job or I'd probably be, ne- well, retirement is 67, but I'll probably be retiring in 10 years. Starting, uh, starting this year. I'll probably be retiring in 10 years or so. Hell, if I wasn't even if I wasn't even disabled, I'd probably be an athlete somewhere. You know, probably training for the Olympics. Yes, I would also podcast because I love you know I love entertaining, and probably I would also be an entertainer. I would probably go back to acting. I would probably back to go go back to uh being extra, or going on some of these shows. You know. Maybe going for the prices right. When I was supposed to go to when COVID hit, I was supposed to do the pilgrimage until COVID hit. I even found a low cost hotel right near the studio that it was here, and of course, it's not on uh, Television City anymore. They moved, unfortunately. Not the same. Not the same of his Bob Barker days. But still, still, I would have gone. I would have gone. 
you know what? To the people who don't have disabilities and are able-bodied, y'all have a good. Y'all really have a good. You can really be independent. You really don't have to struggle. Okay. And if you want help, you could ask for help, and you have the option of not uh not getting help if you don't want to. But people who are disabled like us, people are lifeblood. People are the way that we survive. Okay. I mean, oh my God! I mean, this was like all my life, all my life. I'm I'm about to turn fifty in a few months. Fifty. 50. I'm going to turn 50 in about three months. Three months. But I turned 50 in November. Okay, so it's October, August, September, September, October, and I don't count the fourth month, but still. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So when I ask for help, please. And like I got said in the video, I said on the video, this was supposed to be the home of the best citizens of fifty. Uh, this was supposed to be the home of the best citizens on the net today. Prove it. Prove it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Escape to BigDCountry.com. You can still watch the videos. I don't know what, what the heck with the, if the podcast thing is even working on. I'm trying to use a new uh, a new uh, host provider, but I don't know. I don't know. But you can definitely see the videos on the uh, on the uh, on the website. It just goes to the video session. But other other than that, if you are if you are in the county of YouTube, uh, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. Become a citizen of Big D Country. Uh, and all like that. So like and subscribe. And we need to grow, y'all. We need to grow this channel again. Long story. Anyway. Hello. Wow. And on the day before I get my blind pension. Wow. Now I just got to figure out how the hell I'm going to get to cash it. Yeah. I am tired of a hundred degrees. It's been like 10 or 11. I lost count. 11, 12. I lost count. I lost count. We already had two full weeks of a hundred degree weather. Are we going for three? I don't think so. I don't think so. Or in the words of Stone Cold, eh, eh! Escape to BigDCountry.com. Escape to BigDCountry.com. L I N K T dot E E slash Big D Country Mouth. I'll try to put it on my key. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. This is what I get when I don't have food, y'all. This is what I get.